What's going on guys, Victor here, and today we got this crazy looking fish right here known as a bullseye snakehead. Highly invasive down here in South Florida. We're gonna catch them, we're gonna clean them, and we're gonna cook them. Today's video is also sponsored by Simply Safe. Big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. More on them later. And that's why they did so good. That was all ages ago, you know? Holy fire ants, yeah. fire ants up the wazoo, man. Consume. Ah. Uh, they're in my boot and everything. Wow. Literally. Yeah, they are. And they come out of nowhere. It's like by the time you start to feel them on you, you have like a hundred on you already. Oh yeah, good one. That's a good one right there. Oh yeah, baby. Big head shakes, big strong head shakes. That's what we're after right there. That's dinner, son. Now we gotta land them. Where you at? Okay, are we gonna go for the flip? We're gonna risk it. He looks like he's hooked pretty good. Solid snake right there, guys. Solid. But since I only have one, I'm not going to risk it. That's what I live for right there. That strike. Man, that makes any fisherman excited. Woo, what a fish. Come here, baby. Come here. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, it's a chunky one. See, out of this canal, guys, look at this. I mean, this is a freaking trick to get down here. This canal seems to always hold real solid fish. You never find little fish in here. They're always like, this is probably a five, six pound fish, all big fish, you guys see, they just stay perched up on that bank. I threw my frog in and I saw him in the corner. He immediately noticed something jumping off the bank because you got to think it looks natural, you know, whether it be a lizard, a mouse, a frog, anything, any anything they can fit into their mouths, they're going to eat. So they sit on the bank, they wait for something to plop in. They're in their cover, a grass lily pad, whatever it is, and they ambush it just like he did. Textbook ambush. You don't have crazy teeth, but it's definitely not fun sticking your mouth in there. I mean, look at that. He choked it. Look at that. Big old frog eater. But I mean, absolutely inhaled it. And you always got to wait a little bit before you set the hook. Oh boy. That might be the end of the day, folks. Did not see that tree right there. <laughs> that is, if you guys don't know what this is, bird's nest backlash. This might be uh, having to buy my friend a whole new spool of line because this is not my reel. Alec, I'm very sorry, sorry, buddy. Oh boy. Yeah, we might have to scrap this day. That might be the end of the video. I wish I got more action for you guys. This is the only fish I got on video. Had a couple of missed blowups and stuff. Went to about around six spots. Probably walked close to two miles, but you know how it goes. Sometimes you get them. Sometimes you don't. So right there, that is the bullseye. There's that fall sign. Sometimes they'll have them all up and down their body. Some snakeheads have more than others. I, I know you, I give you guys a little lesson every single time we do a snakehead video. Fish are not native to South Florida, but they've been here since about the early 1990s. There is no size limit. There's no bag limit. Our state says that they are threat to our local ecosystem. So if you guys want, they are mighty delicious. We've eaten them plenty of times on the channel and they're actually pretty plentiful. And they're actually expanding pretty far north. You can catch them all the way up to Wellington now. Um, when they first started, it was around the Pompano Beach area. 
but now I mean they're just spreading like crazy they're probably gonna be limited as to how far north they can go because like peacock bass which is another not native fish they don't like cold water they're definitely gonna be limited in that sense great fighters there's also another type of snakehead the northern snakehead which you guys in Virginia I think parts of New York have those are cold water tolerant snakeheads we don't have those down here wish we did they get a, a little bit bigger than our snakeheads would love to make a trip to Southeast Asia which is where these fish are actually native to I believe Pakistan East is where snakeheads are from Thailand um, all those tropical Asian countries I mean look this is just one side of it I mean it's good stuff I I don't just do this just to do it. I honestly, every time we catch snakeheads, I look forward to eating them. They're that good. Here's our other side of our snakehead. We got a pet bird that comes by to the fillet table every once in a while. Every once in a while, Brooke has named him Petey, and I'm pretty sure it's the same one. It is the same one because he's missing a toe. Okay, let's see. Look, we got a little piece. Haha, <laughs> there he is. Yep. Yeah. Ready, Petey? Oh, he's right on it. Is he missing a toe? Yep. See on the right foot? He's missing that little half of a toe. Yep. He's a pretty cool little guy. He's a tricolor heron. He probably goes from fillet table to fillet table and just makes his rounds every single day. Kind of like a little pelican. Super slimy fish, I'm telling you. Skin's very similar to a snapper. Real thick scales. It is a really good looking fish. Very small bloodline. He jumped up on the fillet table and he thinks that that piece is for him. If he gets it in the water, Brooke. Petey, that's not for you. That's way too big for you, buddy. Before we move on, a quick message from today's video sponsor, Simply Safe. Simply Safe is an easy to set up reliable home security system with 24 7 professional monitoring. With all the fishing and traveling that Brooke and I do, having home security was really important to us. Setup was incredibly easy, everything came in a nice little box, you got video doorbells, glass break sensors, motion sensors, water sensors, carbon monoxide detectors, and best of all, most of this is all based on a peel and stick system. All of these sensors are linked to a base station which is linked to a keypad so you can choose whether you're home, away, or you can turn the system off. Simply Safe even has an incredibly easy to use app. I have mine linked to my video camera that came with the Simply Safe system so I can see exactly what's going on in my house even when I'm not at home. So let's say one of the entryway sensors or motion sensors goes off while you're not home. The monitoring center will call the police if it's alerted to anything. If you guys are interested in learning more about Simply Safe, you guys can go to simplysafe.com slash landshark. I'm also gonna have it linked below in the description. Big thank you once again to Simply Safe. Now let's eat. So here is the snakehead, portioned up, three, four ounce pieces right there. Absolutely beautiful piece of fish. We're gonna pan sear it outside on the side burner. Do a little mix of spices. We're gonna do garlic powder, because you guys know I put garlic powder on everything and only one side. These aren't very big, thick fillets, so you can get away with just seasoning one side. Coriander, some chili powder, and then some ginger. Every time we catch snakeheads or we go to cook snakeheads, I always think Asian because that's where they're from, so we really like to incorporate those flavors. So we're gonna do a little pan-seared snakehead, a little quick sweet and sour sauce, this is just the juice from a can of pineapple. Once again, we're not measuring, it's all the eyeball. That's how you learn in the kitchen. You gotta taste as you go. So, ketchup, apple cider vinegar, that's gonna be the acid, so that's that sour in the sweet and sour. About that much. We got Laura and Johnny with us tonight. You guys have seen him in past videos. Johnny's a guide out on Lake Ida. We caught clown knifefish together, peacocks together. They've yet to eat snakehead, so I'm excited for them to try it. Normally, I'm a big generic store brand type of guy, but do not ever skimp out on real soy sauce. Even though I know this is less sodium and this is the real sodium, this guy has like no flavor. Don't be cheap with your soy sauce. Get the real stuff. So we're gonna do some soy. A little bit of sesame oil. Let's do like a, not even a whole teaspoon of sesame oil. And you get the world's smallest whisk. 
And gotta do some brown sugar. There we go. This is cornstarch mixed with about a table, well this is about a tablespoon of cornstarch mixed with some cold water. It's gonna thicken up our sweet and sour. And that's gonna be the finishing sauce for a little stir fry we got going on. We have some carrot, onion, there's some red bell pepper in there, yellow bell pepper. We're gonna stir fry those with some ginger and garlic and then finish it off with this really good sauce. It's gonna give it a nice thick glaze. Non-stick pan, gonna go in with some oil. It's smoking. Now you take your seasoned side of the fish far away from your camera woman and go straight into the oil like that. They're already ready to flip. Only need about a minute and 30 seconds on each side. You get that nice hard crust on there. We got our nice hot wok. We're gonna go in with some oil. Okay, and with the veg. So we just, real high heat, we wanna char them a little bit. You're not really fully cooking them. I like a nice crisp vegetable for my stir fry. Nice crisp onion, crisp bell pepper. Lower the heat just a little bit, some sesame oil. We're gonna add our ginger and garlic now. And then now that sweet and sour sauce. Lower the heat a little bit more. We got a lot of, oh yeah, smells so good. Should have made more. And then also we can put a little bit of sweetness in there. Put some pineapple tidbits. You wanna put those in fresh. You don't really wanna cook those. We're gonna toss some cilantro in our black rice. Look at that pretty color pop. If you guys have never had black rice before, I highly suggest it. Yames turned me on to it. It's got like a, it's got a grittiness to it. It's just, it tastes so good. It's... Okay, we go down with our stir fry veg. Fish. Dinner served. This is what I like doing, guys. This is my favorite thing to do, cooking for friends, cooking for family. And one day, hopefully, I know everyone says a restaurant, cooking for subscribers. Cooking for the world would be cool. Fresh fish. First time snakehead eaters, what do you guys think? Well, when the Hooban restaurant opens up. This is exactly what I'm gonna come in and order. It's perfect. That's all we're serving is snakehead. Snakehead. <laughs> as long all as the exotics. As long as it's with stir, uh, stir fry, you got me sold. It's very good. Thanks, John. Considering where snakehead comes from, I'm surprised at how light it is. It almost tastes like a saltwater fish. It's really good. I'm uh, very impressed, as always. Snakehead is one of those fish that a lot of people are like, ew, you eat snakeheads because just of the body of water that they come from. And most of the people probably saying that, you know, haven't tried it. And it's a phenomenal fish. And the stir fry Victor whipped up is amazing. Like I would, I would have that stir fry like every night of the week. It is so good. I'm glad that you caught one <laughs> today on your little excursion by yourself. So good job. I will take gladly swap out anyone, all their yellowtail snapper for snakehead. I would 100% take this over a lot of saltwater fish, including something like a yellowtail snapper. It's so delicate and just beautiful. Got a really good flavor. Real fine flakes, yet super firm. Got that um, great pan sear on it. You know, you got that char, and then on this side, it's real delicate. Super moist. It's just very easy to eat. 
I'm really happy with the dish. I'm happy these guys came over. Thank you very much for having us. Of no course. Way. I hope you guys enjoyed today's little solo adventure. I know it wasn't a, you know, a big grand endeavor and we didn't catch a lot of fish, but you know, sometimes that's what it's all about. We got a great meal, fed some friends with just one fish. So you guys go out and do the same. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Big thank you to Simply Safe once again for sponsoring today's video and I'll catch you in the next one.